Hey guys, good morning. All right, for today's video, oh, I thought I could style outfits from the women's section. I'm not trying to just look like a man that's wearing women's clothes, not that there's anything wrong with that whatsoever, but I'm trying to look like a man that's super fashionable that just so happens to be wearing women's clothing. Like if you're at Starbucks, I don't want you to be like double taking. I just want you to be like, whoa, he's stylish. So what I wanna do is style three outfits at three drastically different price points from the woman's section. Worth it is not shook, but I did think that it would be fun to apply their formula to this to make it exciting to compare and contrast while doing something fun. I want to do for the lower end Target. Every time I ever am like, I like your clothes to a female, she's always like, oh, it's from Target. Urban's going to be my mid price point just because it's a very popular clothing store. I'm talking very fast. I'm sorry. I'm excited. I think I want to do Gucci for the high price point. I already know looks can be sickening or fashionable from the women's section for men. Like Jeffrey does that a lot and Harry Styles even. Let's go shopping. I'm also gonna wear each of these outfits for a day in my life. And then at the end, we'll decide which look was the most sickening for the price point. All right. Okay, the first stop is Target and Sister Morgan is here. What? This is so cute, I could cry. <laughs> oh my gosh, this actually is part of the inspo because you got this at Target, right? And I was like, yeah. I could work with that. Oh <laughs> I can't wait to decorate for Christmas, but it seems a little premature. Premature? It's November. That's Christmas. No. Okay, Santa, I'm trying to vlog here. You don't decorate for Christmas until after Thanksgiving. Like, it's too early still. I love Christmas, but two months of Christmas is too place. much. Let's go shopping. Wait, what are you shopping? I don't understand. Oh, I'm buying outfits in the women's section like at three different price points. <laughs> Isn't that where you show anyway? <laughs> and I'm not trying to like make it look like a woman. I'm just trying to look stylish in women's clothing. Me too, and it doesn't work. <laughs> They've also really reinvented their makeup section and whoa, whoa. I'm like shook. Did whoa. you not see their makeup section oh yet? God, no, this is crazy. Target got a makeover. Because remember it was under construction and now it's lit. I also hate that this is like now a Target ad when Target's like working with all these YouTubers and have not invited us to the party. Have you seen that? Yeah, but also that's like, I'd be too scared. <laughs> That's like a mass audience of people that I don't want to be. <laughs> yeah, that's like being on the trending page. It's dangerous. Oh, yeah. That's dangerous territory. <laughs> Just a lot of people being like, uh, you like boys is essentially what they're saying. But look at this makeup section. It's crazy. Whoa. It's like a Sephora now. Whoa, that's me and that's you. Doug the Pond is suing. <laughs> Suddenly we have to plan a Christmas party. This is crazy. I can definitely see myself hosting a Christmas party in this. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the point. Okay, we need to find the realistic clothing section. Although this is cute too. <laughs> I did not realize we were in full blown Christmas season already. Ugh, the jumpsuit that I wore in our furnished house tour oh is gosh. back. Oh gosh, this is embarrassing. My cleaning outfit. <laughs> <laughs> they upgraded it. <laughs> oh, this one's like crushed velvet. She just got her lashes done. Here's the fuzzy jackets. This is it. I'm looking for something more like what you have on though. Ooh, I really like the pink one. Okay, we found what seems to be a pretty decent outfit. I haven't tried anything on yet, but we're looking at shoes now. And we're the same size of shoes. So you said we're nine? Yeah. Are these white ones? I just think these ones look so comfortable. Yeah, these ones are Like they look like something I can run around in. The other option, these like faux leather slidey ones. I don't know. I'm definitely not a cheetah print type of girl. I'm starting to think that maybe we're not nine. We for sure. Oh. I'm, no, it's too small. <laughs> I need a 10. Morgan was really adamant about these ones, but I just, I like the casual look. I, mm, yeah, that's just not for me. I'm not that kind of girl. Oh my God, they have like the faux Gucci slides. These are also women's shoes. I'm not afraid to shop in the women department. I think this might be the move. Wait, do they have brown? Oh my God. Oh, they're too thin for- I have fat feet! Yes, Cause this? You cannot buy those. You cannot. Yeah. I will not allow. Look at my arch just doesn't allow for this. <laughs> <laughs> These are just not it. What about the ones with the fur though? Oh! <laughs> Whoa, okay. 
So this is what I don't know about shopping in the women's section and my biggest fear is like I don't know if this is a woman's only fitting room. I think it's a woman's fitting room. Like, you're gonna have to go to the men's. So I'm gonna have to take these women's clothes to the <laughs> men's department? I mean where even would a men's fitting room be? In the men's section. <laughs> See, but I don't I don't like that. Here, let me ask if I can try things on here. Are you ready to be like actually shook? I'm shook. I literally feel like mom in middle school when I would try clothes on at Kohl's, like waiting. I'm like, this is, the jeans fit me better than any boy jeans I've ever worn before. And the shirt is like, don't I look like a normal, this is crazy, right? Yeah, it's crazy. Wow, it really accentuates everything. Like, would you think I was wearing girl clothes? No, if you showed up like that, I'd be like, wow, we got a new outfit. The only problem is the pocket isn't like... Oh yeah, girls don't have like big pockets like guys. You have to put your phone in your back pocket. I like feel very comfortable. More comfortable than I feel in my boy clothes. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm I mean, it looks really good actually. This is what they call ultimate mom mode. Outfit one of three is completed, and I think it's gonna be very hard to talk. She said that the dressing rooms were for everyone and didn't make me go find the specific men's dressing room, so that was lit. Target, yeah, thank you. Icon. I loved her. We loved her. The total at Target was for an entire outfit $97.96, which I don't think is that bad. I got a jacket as well. Well, they're all less than $100. All very so you'll get like multiple uses out of them. Oh, very, very practical. All right, our next stop. Is urban. Oh my god, my next stop is anywhere without sun this bright. <laughs> they have Christmas decorations out and it's still 90 degrees. Take that. <laughs> I love my 90 degree outfit. <laughs> my god. Should this be my new thing? Oh, I actually don't hate that. Well, this is very tan. Oh my god, I actually like it. It really hides my forehead. We could twin in these. Oh my god. I could get one too. Oh my god, I'm actually getting so much. What's nice about us shopping in the women's section together is that we don't have to split up. Normally I have to go to the boys' section by myself. Right. <laughs> okay, from Urban, I'm really hoping for like a nice boyfriend tee, maybe a band tee that I don't listen to, being like, ooh, this is kind of cute. You're gonna trigger everyone with that. People get so mad. I know, it's like the most offensive thing ever, but I mean, I still... Like it's cute though, you know? It's like... It's really cute. And like, I'm sorry that I'm not Nirvana's biggest fan, but it's cute. <laughs> you literally cut that out. You don't want to get attacked. Okay, so this is what I found in Urban so far. Look at our big ass Urban bags. We don't think mom's going to the pool. They were out of every single shoe option that I wanted in the women's department, so I decided that I was just going to use the white Converse that Morgan got me in a video a while ago and add those. Those are $55, so the total for my Urban look comes to $253, which Yikes. for one single outfit is pretty steep. Yeah, and I, that's pretty deep in the hole. Ugh. And I don't even love the outfit as much as the $100 Target one. Next stop is Gucci. So you're looking for like a full head to toe outfit? Are you gonna return it after? <laughs> if it's not sickening, I mean, if it's like you awesome, like, I can wear it to my wedding. She'll like full Jeffree Star, look, like jumpsuit. All right, so the Gucci at this mall did not have any women's clothes, but there is a Nordstrom's here and there's a bunch of things here. So, I mean, Nordstrom is also obviously high end. I don't think I can pull off the neon trend. I just oh, yeah, I totally can't either, really don't think it's for me. Great. The Burberry hat. Like a Burberry. I wanted the Burberry hat, but my head was too big. Hello, okay, so, whoa, I gotta fix my hair. It's the next day and we never found the high uh, price point outfit, so I'm going to actually put on my first Target outfit today and we're gonna jump down over to Rodeo Drive to find the third and final outfit. this jacket as well for the outfit. It's still really hot in LA. This might not be the best thing. Oh, actually, it looks kind of cute. I think it might be a little too hot in LA to wear this today, but I'm gonna bring it along. I'm actually pretty shook that I like this outfit so much. The only thing I might not 100% love are the shoes. They do kind of look Target mom-ish, and that's not like a bad thing. Wait, what are you laughing at? I don't want to say it. I don't want to come off offensive. A Target mom? No, you look like a middle schooler that is in theater class, but that was also what I was into. <laughs> so, like, I'm 
not judging. I'm just saying that's like the exact no. look. And performing. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is kind of how I dressed when I reported the news. We've got the truth right now on Rumor Patrol. Those pants are gonna be a rug soon. <laughs> my boyfriend just walked in. Shane, do you realize anything different about me? Do I look good? Uh, yeah. Did you get Botox or something? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? I don't like this. <laughs> no, I'm just wearing a different look. It's like more, like, is it like, being more manly or something? Being more manly? <laughs> like flannel, uh, skater shoes. Uh, no, I'm wearing girls clothing. Well, gender roles in clothing are just social constructs, so I don't even know what that means. I'm just saying I'm buying outfits from the women's section instead of the men's to show I literally it. told you to do that. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. When? Do you not remember when we got into a fight because you couldn't find an outfit for the Fatty Awards or whatever oh. it's called and then and then I was like literally buy a woman's blazer because you're small and they make small ones and you were like so offended you're like that's like weird yeah and everything fit you and then you were just like but like the, I don't know isn't that weird I'm like no because gender is a social construct yes but there is oh. even if no one else is thinking it there's still something in my brain that if I'm like walking to the women's side I'm like oh uh, they're gonna my think I'm weird that I have on my body or <laughs> yeah, I used to wear maternity pants when I was a teenager. <laughs> They're stretchy. That's so great. Oh, I'm going to break the couch. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this isn't worth it. I mean, you definitely like look like Ellen. Like, I feel like that's what she oh would wear. God. I'm ready to take on the world. It's a pretty quiet audience over there. <laughs> this is a violet drink. Ooh. It tastes like blackberry. Lip. Chocolate chip frappuccino. Ooh, even more lit. Really? Whoa, the chocolate chip frappuccino is just a milkshake. <laughs> have you never had one? Ooh! No, have you? <laughs> yeah. Whoa, it's like dangerously good. Let me try this. One. Try the violet. That one, it just tastes like a blackberry, like, refresher. Oh, you and Shane have the same reaction, both like disgusted This tastes by. like soap. This is a milkshake. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty good. I wouldn't give it more than a five. What? It's a little too cacao tasting. Oh, I love it. Hello, we've made it to Rodeo and I'm vlogging on my phone. They're playing Christmas music already and all the trees are lit up. You can't really see, but hi. Their baby shoes are so cute. I want this just like for display. Imagine honey like clunking around and being like, oh my God. <laughs> that is so cute. It's literally like the same size for me. <laughs> in an adult size. Oh my gosh. Gucci was under construction and it was a floppity doppity. Literally everything in there was ugly. It was Sorry. ugly and <laughs> there was nothing great for me. So it's, we're gonna- I guess it's artistic, okay? I don't wanna say it's ugly. It's somebody's art. Well, right? yes. But it's not wearable for the everyday person. There was only like a crushed velvet sweater that was like a possibility, but it was so much money. And even the kid's shoes were like- So I, cute. Eh, so cute, but like the jacket Morgan showed was $1,600 for a child that's gonna grow out of it in two and a half seconds. Yeah, that is true. So we're gonna go to Balenciaga. If they had this in black, I would more so consider, but it's like puffy and the softest thing I've ever felt in my life. Blush. There's a clutch to Mermaid, 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 Mermaid of Shook. Atlantis with oh pearls God. inside. This is actually something I would wear. It has like subtle glitter, if you can tell. I kind of like it. I, I wish this was matte. It's my color scheme though. Sparkly. Yes. I've been in almost every like luxury store. There is nothing that I would ever genuinely wear. If I was shopping in the men's section, I would have been able to find a hundred outfits. I will say for my outfit today from Target, these shoes, not wide enough. Like my feet well, yeah, hurt because they're, for they're girls. skinny. <laughs> they're for girls. So girls typically just have not as wide as feet as boys. And well, really, I think so. I won't ever wear the shoes again, but I will wear the outfit again. Target outfits were a win. Now I feel like a flop. I think it's better though for people to see that you don't have to spend a billion dollars on an outfit to find a good outfit. So I see tweets from people all the time, they're like, I'd be so fashionable if I had money. It's like, well. No, Target is Target like is a winner. Upping their game. Since we failed at everything else in life, we're stopping at this place in <laughs> Whoa, Studio cute. City, which is actually like rolled ice cream, which I saw from Steph Papa's Instagram. She said she wanted to come here. I was like, wait, I live close enough to that. So I think we're gonna come try this out now. <laughs> Oh, 
Uh, work. Crispin for me. Hi. Did you already try it? Oh yeah, I've been eating it. Sorry. <laughs> I feel bad ruining the rolls. They like. Are so pretty. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. Mm. Oh, it tastes light and delicate, but so good. Okay, everyone. Whoa, you actually look like you're getting ready for like an Instagram shoot. Actually, it's pretty cute. I will say. I guess I could post an Insta story and say, "Do you think I'm a baddie?" That's uh, the way to go. <laughs> well, when they take away likes, nobody will know how many people are engaging. Uno, get away! Get away. <laughs> Uno's the most jealous dog in the entire world. Okay, so today I am gonna go to a lake and paddleboard with Morgan. But first, I'm going to put on the Urban Outfitters look. Okay, so this is today's full OOTD, which I'm actually kind of impressed that all of these articles of clothing are women's, except for the Converse, which are unisex. Definitely not something I would normally really ever wear, minus the jacket. Like, the jeans are super high-waisted. I guess they're fine, though. Maybe if I took the jacket off. Individually, I like a lot of the pieces. Typically, I like, like, tighter shirts, so I think I would wear this more with, like, sweatpants or something. Work. Jesus, were you hungry or something? Oh yeah, I don't have time to shower or have a snack. Oh. Oh, it smells so <laughs> strong. <laughs> so it's skinny pop. In my girl's fall fit. Yeah, I don't you, <laughs> you can't even really see it yet. Oh, so save your judgments for when we get out of the car. We're gonna go uh, to a little lake that's close by and get on one of those uh, paddle boats. So see you there. Mm. <laughs> uh, you literally suggested it. Right. Bike and oh boat God. rentals. Okay, I actually have always wanted to do this. I wish it looked cuter so I could take a picture. <laughs> you could take a picture of me. <laughs> oh, girl. Those are the widest leg pants I've ever seen you wear. <laughs> your ankles have never been that covered in your entire life. Oh my god, you look like you're in like a Nickelodeon show. This is definitely a style I would never pick on my own. Oh, this is very like straight guy that lives in West Hollywood's fall go-to. Yes. But like we don't know if he's straight or not. <laughs> Sorry, the paparazzi, they just get me everywhere. It's so annoying. <laughs> I think you might need a little tighter ankle pant. Levi's trigger me because they literally don't fit me, ever. <laughs> oh my gosh! Wait, I think I might have to go to the bathroom. All right. uh, I don't know. <laughs> this is a little spooky. <laughs> Looks like you might die in there, but go for yourself. <laughs> uh, Yikes. I'm good. <laughs> this is like honestly so pretty. You can see all the way out there somebody's in. They're like, what kind of birds are they? Flamingos? Those are ducks. <laughs> no, the, the boats Did you are. Just say that was a flamingo. <laughs> no, <laughs> the what the boats. Oh, that's a swan. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the boats are shaped as swans. Wow, there's even a yellow tree. I've actually never been able to style these white Converse before. This is the first time that I think they actually look kind of decent because of the pants. None of my hmm. pants look good with them. Whoa, yeah, this is very fall boy. Do you like it with or without the jacket? Ooh, I mean, it depends what you're doing. Like, are you meeting your boyfriend's parents for the first time? Are you going to an art show? If you fall backwards into the oh. lake and lose my footage? Wow, not that I would drown or anything, God forbid. Look how close you are. I can't trust you that close to the ledge. But I wonder how deep this is. I was a lifeguard once. I do know how to swim. Oh, we gotta go get a boat before the time expires. Whoa, I didn't know LA got so many fall colors around wow, here. This is great. Do you just want me to do this? Whoa, the lighting is fantastic. This is a very like mom. Thing. That is really dangerous. And if you fall, I'm gonna die laughing. Whoa, it is so pretty. And look at all the ducks. Hi, duckies. Oh my gosh, I'm so close. <laughs> Hi, how are you? What's going on? 
I oh whoop whoop they're so cute. Well, I just got here and I did so much Googling and it said that they were open until sunset, which isn't for another hour and a half. But now they said they closed. I think they closed early and I drove all the way out here to get on these cute little, what are they, flamingos? What did you say they are? That is a swan. <laughs> a swan, sorry, I don't know my birds. Swan I'm Lake. just, Hello. whoa, the lighting is the nice dark, though. You know, haven't you ever seen the black swan and the white swan and they're fighting? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Natalie Portman, Black Swan. Yeah, that's what this is. Except they're closed and they don't dance. Oh, I'm so upset. <laughs> they're so cute. What's going on, brother? How are you today? We were indeed declined. <laughs> well, I guess at least we got good lighting for my Luke. All the ducks got to see your outfit. I will say I'm comfortable. I honestly, I might like this more than the Target outfit. Yeah, me too. And when it's you got- more snazzy. Like, you look very, like, fashion trendy. Um, yeah, I Not look- that I would know. Good morning. Oh, oh. Cookie, do you want to say hi? Say hello. She's camera shy. And we're back, okay. After feeling like a failure for a minute, after going shopping twice to find my high-end outfit, I went back to Nordstrom. I mixed and matched luxury items. So I have Balenciaga shoes, a Saint Laurent hoodie, and then there were some Chanel jeans, but they just didn't look great on me and they were $1,500, so I couldn't justify. So I got this brand that's like medium to high end called Le Today, I felt like was a very fitting day to wear my luxury outfit because it is Jeffrey's birthday and we're going to his birthday. The dinner. Not that the outfit I chose looks any more fancy than the other options that you've seen from the low and the mid price point, but it is like 10 times the price point, I think. So let's put this on and compare. Okay, so here is the full outfit, and I do think it's pretty cute. I have the super chunky uh, Balenciagas, which I actually borrowed because they were $895, and I just didn't think I would honestly ever wear them again. And I didn't take the price tags off yet because I wanted to show you how much they were. The pants are $235. The sweater is $690, so the total of the entire look is $1,800. $120, which is honestly just insane for what it is. I get that if a lot of people want to shop in luxury, it's more of a statement. This is as tame as I could possibly find because I wanted it to be something I could actually wear if I'm going to buy it for myself. So I think the outfit's super cute. Yes, I'm going to wear this sweater all of the time, but $690? is a lot. And I can't believe that this is women's clothing. All of this is straight up from the women's section. I didn't even say anything. And Andrew looked over at me and he said, new sweater? And I said, oh my gosh, you can't zoom on the back facing camera. <laughs> What's going on? I said, oh, is that a new sweater? And then you said, yeah, something about it. This is my last installment of the piece of the girl. What? You're dressed like one of those kid, like the gay kids in theater class who have to wear all black, like they're moving the set around. <laughs> also, that was me, so I'm not being offensive. Well, I, I wasn't moving the set around. I was just <laughs> fat. 
I chickened out with the shoes. Oh. These ones aren't the luxury ones. I have like big white chunky Balenciagas, but I just couldn't do it. <laughs> that you're gonna wear right now? Well, yeah, here, let me show you. Oh, yeah. They're so heavy and so loud. They're just drawing so much attention. You're not even here. <laughs> that's the shoes walking around. Well, that's why I couldn't do it. They're just like, compared to your shoes, they're just so obnoxious. But that's like the thing, right? It's just all black and then huge white shoes. I don't know. Fine, if though. you had like a oversized sweater, I think that it might work. Oh, this is like Tessa Brooks can I'll show I see. Well, I almost bailed on this whole outfit altogether because I was like, I can't show up looking like a complete joke. And then I was like, oh, I'm just going to do it. Are you going to wear white shoes in this stuff? Oh, no. Oh. Because I don't even know how you'd be able to drive with that. They're putting weight on the pedal. They're also the most uncomfortable shoes ever. You did good. You're Thank you. Great. He was rubbing me like this, and he said, This feels like a grandma. It feels like a grandma sweatshirt. It kind of looks like the more you know meme. Alright, so after having worn the luxury outfit, I just, I don't think it compared for me to the other price points. Honestly, the Target jeans were so much better fitting, at least for my body. The luxury ones were a little too short and like kind of saggy in the butt. And then the sweater, it just attracted so much dog hair. Like insane amounts, which really limits like the amount that I personally will reach for it. I thought it was cute. Like there's no denying that, but for the price point, <laughs> I think if I would have picked something like a little more androgynous, I would have gotten more for the price point, but I just never thought I personally would have gotten use out of that. And I, I can't even start with the shoes. As far as my favorite, I'm shockingly choosing Urban Outfitters, which was the mid price point. And that's because when I was shopping, I was dead set that I was gonna love the Target outfit the most. And then once I had the urban look on, it just surprised me. I felt good in it and I would have never bought any of those articles of clothing had I not been filming this video. I'm curious to know which outfit you guys liked the most for the price point and if you like these fashion week in my lifestyle videos. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and as always thank you guys so much for watching and supporting my channel. I love you very much. Goodbye. Uno. Hello?